So before I start this narration, I would like to say Desmume is the worst fucking Game Boy Advance and DS emulator ever. That is all. Go for no cash. Anyways, hey guys, it's Matt Grinsick over here for another battle video versus The Crowbar, who is a bar of crows, which... That's kind of creepy, but whatever. Um, yeah, so he leaves with an Espeon, I leave with Crobat, because, well, I kind of thought he'd lead with Espeon, and, you know, if he didn't, then I'd leave with Crobat, or whatever. So, yeah, I U-turn out, and surprisingly, I freaking do a lot. Like, I thought this thing was going to be, like, a kind of wallish kind of Espeon, but, um, I guess not. So, yeah, so I predicted a Psychic, or maybe, like, a setup move, I don't know. So I just went to, uh... Alakazam. I was about to say Espeon, but I don't have an Espeon. And, um, yeah, so I pretty much wall that Psychic. Well, actually, it did a lot, but it was, you know, Life Orb, Espeon, and all that fun stuff, so... Yeah, anyway, so I use Psychic, and I kill the Espeon, and fun stuff like that. So Espeon gets taken down, which is awesome, and he sends in a Toxicroak, and I'm like, well, you're gonna Sucker Punch. So I switch out, fearing the Sucker Punch, and I go into Crackers the Bat. Um... What sucks though is that he swords dances, and I'm like face palm at the failure of this. Because. Yeah. So now I knew he was gonna sucker punch. I was like, if he doesn't sucker punch, then maybe I thought he didn't have sucker punch. But yeah, he has sucker punch, and it fails. So yeah, that's good stuff. So, uh, he knew I was faster. Uh, maybe he thought I was scarfed. I think he said he thought I was scarfed, so. He goes for Sucker Punch, not doing much, and I go for Dragon Pulse because this fucking Sazendora is a failure of Sazendoras. Um, really, I'm remaking like half this team because this team kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah, this Sazendora used Dragon Pulse because it does not have Draco Meter because it's a failure and uh, takes it down to exactly Pinch Barrier range so it can get its Salak. And yeah. So, I knew he was going to go for a fighting move, either Brick Break or Cross Chop or whatever Toxic Rep lands. And, um, yeah, I use this cross shop. Uh, does a decent damage for quad resistant. And all that fun stuff. So, I knew he was gonna sucker. Or, no! I thought he was gonna, like, predict the over prediction of me switching, predicting him sucker punching. So, I predicted not to predict, but then I predicted wrong. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he takes out my Crobat because fucking Crobat is fucking fuckfuckers, and yeah, so I send in Thor, the god of thunder, because I thought I could live like a poison jab or something, he uses gunk shot, and I was like, whoa, gunk shot, and then he misses, and I'm like, mm, that's what you get for using fail moves, I guess, because fail moves are, well, dead. so, yeah, so now he sends in Crowbar Jr., and I'm like, okay, and before hidden power, ice, so I go into my Poisodon, which is spelled wrong, it's supposed to be Poseidon, but since I fail at life, I spelled it wrong. So, yeah. And he does go for the End Power Ice, which was epic prediction for me. Yay! So, um, gets a crit, which is kind of lolly. And yeah, so I knew he was going to switch out again, but I wasn't sure what he would switch out to, so I just went for a Surf, and he goes into Rotom, which, really, Rotom full-on, like, Rotom Wash full-on walls this Poseidon whatever the hell it's actually called in Japanese, but yeah, because it has like Surf, Ice Beam, and Air Slash, which all resisted it, and then I have Grass Knot, which, because Rotom is light as fuck, actually the not very effective Surf is better than the Grass Knot, believe it or not. So, yeah, at this point I'm kind of like face palming at the failure, and I kind of predicted either will o -Wisp, Thunderbolt, or Hydro Pump, which Sazendora all resists, and yeah, he goes for the will o -Wisp. And I could care less because I'm a special attacker. So, yeah, I get burned. Hurt by burn. All that fun stuff. And I go for the Dragon Pulse. Or no, I go for a Dark Pulse. <laughs> hey, I go for a Dark Pulse because I knew I wasn't going to kill it. And hey, I might as well go for the flinch. And I got the flinch. I was like, fuck yeah. So, that was kind of like a dick move right there. But hey, you know, Dark Pulse, I mean... They have the fucking 10% fucking added effect for a reason. So, yeah, so now that he's raging and all that stuff, I go for a Dragon Pulse and kills his Rotom because, yeah, Dark Pulse for the win. Anyways, that's almost as bad as me, like, iron heading a freaking Skarmory with a Jirachi just for flinch. Almost as bad. 
So now he says that Torn Rosu. Torn Rosu, whatever. And uh, he goes for a dark dark pulse. Yes, he goes for a dark pulse because he doesn't want to miss his hurricane or gale or whatever the fuck it's called in DS. Um and yeah, he's hurt by life orb. So I go to my Alakazam, and because my Alakazam is a scarfed Alakazam and not a life orb Alakazam, I use Psychic and I don't kill Tornarosu with the bit of Hadaba. So that sucks. And he goes for Dark Pulse and kills me. What's cool though, if you guys didn't know, Alakazam's Dream World ability is um, Magic Guard. So you could give Alakazam a life orb and it doesn't take a life orb damage or injury hazard damage or anything. So you could have like a full on forever focus sash or like life orb, which is both pro. So I send in uh, my Thor, the God of Thunder, because I knew it was gonna. Or no, never mind. I switched to Jax's balls because I wanted to life orb stall him. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so yeah, um, he uses Gale, which is weird. I thought he was going to go for a Dark Pulse, but then, you know, actually a not very effective Gale is stronger than Dark Pulse because of Stab and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, he goes for Hurricane, which kind of sucks. Because, yeah. So, now he goes into Repution and just finishes freaking Jax's balls with the Drain Punch. And Jax's balls really didn't do anything this entire battle. Other than damage over repression with steel forms. Oh great, I broke its sash. Not really. Um, so... Yeah, Rapushin's being all like a creepy clown and stuff with two pillars that can shove up your ass and stuff and whatever. So, <laughs> because I was a dick before and I went for the flinch, I'm gonna be a dick again and go for Air Slash, even though Air Slash is my strongest move to do, go against this repression. But I was hoping for that flinch. <laughs> And I don't get it, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Goes for a drain punch. And, uh, I'm tired. And, um, takes up Poisodon with a critical hit. Pretty sure the critical hit didn't matter. And if it didn't matter, he would kill me with Mach Punch. So, yeah. Critical hit. Fun stuff. So, Repution and all that fun stuff. And uh, I go for Thor, the God of Thunder. I believe this is my last poke, too. Which sucks. So, yeah, I go for Thunderbolts because Thunderbolts is bolty with thunders, and and I bolt the thunder to Repution's nose. And, um, yeah, it gets pretty wrecked. Pretty, pretty, pretty wrecked? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. But whatever. So, I kill the Repution, and now he sends in Dentura, which Dentura falls on walls this thing. Because this thing only has Volt Change, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, and Grass Knot. So, yeah, he goes for a Thunder, gets a Parahax, which doesn't matter in the end, because I die anyways. Because I'm not going to one-shot a freaking Dentura, unless I get a crit. And if I do get a crit, it'd be a tie. So, although technically if we tie when I do an attack, I technically win, according to Smoke and Rules. But, um, yeah, it doesn't happen, and I lose. So, good game, Crowbar. Uh, go check him out. He just recently got his ace card again. Like, his old one broke or whatever. So, yeah, go check him out. He's doing battles. So, comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. I'll see ya.